Welcome back everyone, and this is your restorative Sunday workout. Let's stretch, recover, and feel absolutely amazing afterwards. We work hard entire week, so we definitely deserve some good quality stretches. And let's begin today to one hour kneeling position. Knees wide, big toes together in our child pose with the wide knees. Go ahead and close your eyes in before we will begin this practice, this session. Let's take a deep breath in and instantly calming down our mind and our body. And let's set an intention for this workout session to flow with no expectations. Enjoy every single second. Let's set an intention for upcoming week, for our health, for our lives and people around us, loving, nurturing, intentions for each and every human being on this earth as well. And let's slowly walk, rise over to one side and simply then cover your one hand with the other, focusing on a one side stretch. So if your left hand covering your right with me, you will feel a lot more stretching on the left hand on the left side of the body. And let's simply walk all the way to the other direction. If your right hand is covering your left right now, you will feel a little bit more stretches on the right side. Try to sit your sit bones back on the feet. Very good. Go ahead and return back to the center. Put your fingertips on the floor and send your elbows down, guys. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out, inhalation, exhalation, extend through the back. And slowly rise up, still with your knees wide, into the fingertips if you can. Relax your neck and slowly turn back all the way into the feet. Let's do this rise up movement a couple more times. Feels good for the back and for the hips. Very nice. Let's do that one more time. Deep breath in, deep breath out. And let's take our hands back on the floor in a normal position. Knees back on the floor in a normal position. Wrist, elbow, shoulder, stack one and top another, and continue, guys, with that gentle and nurturing cat and calf bow. Try to expand all the way through, guys, all the way through from the top of your cat over the tailbone, all the way. Hands are nice and flat on your mat. If you need an extra props for your knees to make them comfortable. Always do that, or even simple towels. And we will continue with a gentle hips back to the child pose, regular one, all the way to the top, just the halfway. We're not even going to the cobra or things or upward dog yet. Just a gentle flow, start to activate to warm up our body for this Sunday. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. And just a couple more inhalations and exhalations here. Feeling good, full of energy, ready for this beautiful Sunday. And let's stop right at the back, sliding your one arm underneath another, just on the little angle to stretch the shoulder and put your head, your ear on the floor if you can, or just sit where it's available for your arms and shoulders. Later on, are we gonna go for the thread the needle a little bit deeper, straight for the shoulders. But right now, let's slide the other arm in about 45 degrees over the corner of your mat. And again, rest your head on your arm, on the floor, just what you can do to make yourself feel comfortable here in this position. And Slowly returning back, we will continue with the hip circles. One of my favorite restorative flows, it's a hip circle. It's 
target your hips, your lower back, your knees, of course, your elbows slightly. So allow it, your body to move freely in, maybe. Start a little bit slower and then expand for a little bit faster. Breathe in, breathe out, and let's gently reverse the flow. We're gonna go all the way to the other position. You can close your eyes the other direction. You can keep your eyes open, however, it's slightly easier to connect, to relax, to reconnect with our body, with our eyes closed, simply less external distractions for the eyes, more peaceful environment. And go ahead and give it another one or two circles. Don't be shy. Go ahead and pull, circle those hips. Feels so good. We will stop right here and we're gonna go for this red bean needle. Reach up another good quality straight for the shoulders and the back. And go ahead and slide your arm underneath. See if you can put your both hands on the floor here. If not, go any other way. And we just try to put the palms flat for the best shoulder straight, up and straight. We did a lot of work this week. You definitely need some good Sunday stretches. Keep the same arm which you took to the red needle and extend this arm all the way to the front. Your other hand on the side, just like you did the puppy pose, but with the arm, with one single arm to the front. A little bit deeper, but really feel good straight. This is it. And we will spend here just a, an extra breath or two. Very nice, guys. Take your time to come back and let's do that. Spread the needle from the other side. We reach up first all the way, nice and expanded. And then we go ahead and take these hands on the floor. See if you can put your both palms flat with the fast shoulder, upper arm, stretches and we just hold it four breaths or two extra making sure that our feet relax just upper body neck and then come out of the hold in the same arm which you took under you all the way up front and see if you can take your other arm on the side or you can put it any other place easy to support your shoulders and we just hold in it. Scoop the stomach gently in. I'm breathing all the time. And take your time. Be gentle with your shoulders. We're going to give our upper body a good bear hug. Just give the good hug to one shoulder. And then good hug to the other shoulder. Just like this. Very nice. And we gently proceed with the downward facing dog. We're gonna do a few nurturing squats, not really big ones, but try to feel your legs tight. Spread your knees a little bit wider, just like you're ready to sit to Malasana, your feet not as wide. Relax your neck and head feels so good and then all the way extend your knees if you can for the beginners you absolutely don't have to extend your knees you can keep them bent just make sure your back feeling good relaxed and extended expand to all directions for your back and go back to your wide knees squat so we're staying on the tippy toes we press our hands into the floor relaxing the neck and head and letting the hips melt all the way and again expand to the full or knees bent downward facing dog we're gonna do another gentle squat here and ready guys all the way knees wide all the way relax your head and neck good gentle stretches for the feet 
breathe in, breathe out. Slowly bring your knees back on the ground. We ready for the tippy toes for the feet stretches. Just make sure that you sit comfortable on your feet. And today, if you don't have to support yourself with your hands and blocks on the floor in case if your feet experiencing too much tension, we keep sitting there. You can put your hands on the floor and remove partially body weight from those feet. Or if you don't have it, you don't have to do it. We continue with the shoulders rolls. We're gonna go one direction first. Try not to skip your feet and toes stretches, my friends. And go ahead and take it to the other direction. Reach up and over it. And again, express through the back of the chest and each and every movement. And again, if you have to come out, you have to come out out of your toe and feet straight. Put your hand slightly above the elbow or underneath the elbow. Make sure not on the elbow itself. Release your shoulder down and gentle press through the straight arm. I know it feels, it feels some stretching for sure. And go ahead and do it again above four hundred knees but not on the elbow itself shoulder definitely down and then you go for a good gentle press driving that arm all the way across feeling really good and coming back to the center we will release our toes it feels good take your one knee at a time guys lift your one knee at a time and what we're doing here, we're transferring the body weight, not just on the toes, it slides through the toes, it goes through the toes in the process of lifting the knees, but we're focusing on the ankles, on the top parts of your feet. Continue to do a few more repetitions, just like this, or if your feet really, really strong and feeling good today, you guys can lift both knees. You don't have to, it's totally optional. Just see how you feel. We take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. We need to compensate our feet right now one more time. So we're moving back to the toes, but this time we put our feet a little bit wider. Again, that could be challenging if you not used to work on your feet and ankles, so you would put your fist guys on the floor, and that's very manageable. You can maintain a different amount of body weight into your heels and toes if you don't have to. We continue to sit here for just a few more inhalations and exhalations. Very good. And let's slowly make our transfer to our sitting position. We're going for the hips stretches. We're going to do some straight leg extensions here. Or you can bend your knee. You can use your strap to reach or towel. Then we're going to do the baby cradle today. Seated windshield, down angle and a little turtle and so maintain your good forms guys imagine that you sit up front of the wall and your back is supported by the wall so keep reaching these leg up to break the ceiling inhalation exhalation very nice and from there we're ready for the baby cradle. So what you do, you take this foot, you keep this approximately 90 degrees, so don't drop it too low because you're gonna lose that little leverage for opening the hip, keep it 90 degrees. Some of you will be able to take this foot underneath the elbow and practice the baby cradle this way. When the knee is on, when you're 
left knee on the left shoulder and your left foot is going over to your right shoulder. But again, it doesn't have to be perfect. We just practice and exploring, working on the flexibility of our hips. Taking a deep breath in. Deep breath out. We're holding it for a few more breaths to give it really the best stretch. Now, you don't have to take this foot all the way across your right knee. You can set this right up here. Or you can put it all the way across and you will find yourself with this little crisscross leg is position almost like you're ready to do the Gamukhasana or you can face pose. We're not doing it right now. Take your left, if your left leg is on top, take your left arm all the way on top and go for the gentle half spinal twist. Evolve, move, progress into the stretches, guys. Those doesn't have to be static. Your body is alive. The body needs to move. The body needs understanding and listening. The same thing, but we're going to switch the arms. So if you've been confused what direction, it doesn't really matter as long as you do the both sides. Okay, let's close our eyes and just dive into the stretches. Inhalation, exhalation. Mm, that feels so good for Sunday. You don't have to go to your cow face pose for one. You can stay right where you are, but try it. Definitely, I want you to get more flexible, more aware of your body, but it only comes through the practice and through trust. The farther your feet hold the base of the body, the more challenging it is for the hips and lower back and for your knees. So be aware of it. Draw the feet a little bit closer to the base if you have to. We will also add a little shoulder stretches today. If you're left, on top on the right. Go ahead and bind with your hands behind and your right hand. Right arm is going to go on top, opposite to your left. And we're going to close our eyes. And just dive back in. Inhalation. Exhalation. Nice and quiet. Inside our physical body, in our mind. Mind is always working and always busy. Turbulence is right there. But slowly through the exhalation, we slow down those thoughts which are always running. And it's great. It's a work, work in mind. Mind is supposed to work and we are grateful for this. We will go ahead and switch the legs. We begin with the leg extension. Start with the bent knee if you have to. Imagine that you're propped against, against the wall, right? And we take a gentle reach up and reach down. Taking a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Inhalation. And exhalation. We slowly ready to move to the baby cradle. Remember, maintain your foot approximately 90 degrees here. And we draw in the left foot, right foot over the left shoulder. So some of you able to bind already. And don't forget to let me know in the comments if you got there through your practice. I will take a little credit if you couldn't do it before and now a year or two later or even faster you're already there. That's so rewarding, guys, to know that you improving. So hands on the floor, and we continue to hold the baby cradle. Try not to fail the back. It's easy to do here. And breathe in, breathe out, give that leg a good, good hug. And let's slowly carry over this foot as an option, right? You can definitely just put this foot up here instead of taking it across almost like a cow face pose and go ahead 
or the half spinal twist remember it doesn't matter what side you do the first don't think about it too much just enjoy your practice inhalation exhalation body is alive and needs your attention and connection let's switch to the other side level your shoulders close your eyes feeling the gentle stretches in the lower back and the hips mm -hmm. and let's slowly continue to move into the cow face pose on one side can be doing much better than your another side and this is totally fine taking a deep breath in deep breath out and if you decide to come with me for the hands bind then your left arm opposite to your right leg is gonna go behind and just start to open your elbows as well take a deep breath in Through the nose in and through the nose out. Go. Peaceful, content, and happy. Life is too short not to be happy. Every single day, every single hour, and every single minute. Let's go ahead and undo our knees and we return back to our kneeling position for the final gentle hip movement right and left left and right and take a couple more movements like that making your body feel good this is it and then go ahead and dive back down to just where we started your both knees on the floor and wide except we will take our both hands and put our forehead on the floor or on the hands or on the floor and let's try to let our lower back to relax taking a deep breath in and an exhalation allowed your hips to melt even deeper Inhalation, preparation, exhalation, let all the tension go. Let's find a deep, strong, with awareness, inhalation. Inhale and spread the life through your body. In an exhalation, let all the tension go. And let's let go anything that doesn't serve us any anxiety frustration discontent dislikes of ourselves or of others envy anger we all human beings but all it does again it poisons our bodies our minds our lives keeps us away from that change healing growth transformation from the excellent health all of those pulling us back so let it go it doesn't serve you anymore take a deep breath in and on exhalation guys so rise up with me and go ahead and sit on your knees let's reach up and while you're reaching up invite anything you want to invite in your lives and lives of your loved ones lives of your friends let's slowly bring our hands up front, the health, the happiness, the vitality, the healing, abundance, love, kindness, anything you desire, it's already here, guys. We just have to open our hearts. Close your eyes and say the silent gratitudes for everything we have in this life already, and we have a lot. Look inside that heart, find the beautiful, huge, amazing, bright, happy smile within open your eyes share your smile with others it might change someone's life and namaste everyone thank you so much for 
joining me today for this 20 minutes restorative workout today. We can work so hard, we definitely need to do that every Sunday. And rest well, guys, recover well, help me to share the videos. Welcome if that was your first workout with us, and I will see you all tomorrow.